Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Very quickly when I say live, what I mean is I'm recording myself right now and seeing the formation, seeing the data for the very first time. In other words, I don't know what's coming next. So if you are looking for a video where the person's doing a trade recap or talking to you with hindsight in their favor, this won't be a video for you. But if you are open to the idea of an unscripted, raw, nitty gritty look into what it's like to be a day trader and how day trading can play out, then I'm confident you'll find value in this video. So I will go ahead and pause the recording software for now and I'll be back at the open. Okay, watching 273 here as a potential short. So let's see if Tesla wants to come down to 273. Short meaning making money when prices are going down for you beginners out there. So if prices go up, that would be a bad thing. Let's see if 273 wants to come into play. In at 273. So let's see if this thing wants to drop down a bit. It's coming down, took off a hundred there. Took off another hundred. All right, I'm gonna just call that good quick hundred dollar scalp because Nvidia is catching my eye. Keep an eye on that. And yeah, Tesla played that one right. Hop back there real quick. You can see that. Got the breakdown. And what was a driving force on that one was the level twos. Still may come back down, but I didn't trust it a whole lot because this has been a very sketchy market. Plus, it's early in the day, but what helped me out there was level twos, which is those right there. So you can see right there. Played that one about as best as I could. Gave it time, and then it showed me that it didn't necessarily want to make a continued move. I'm glad I took those out at 72, 272.50 because those other ones, yeah, what a move. Well, maybe I can try again, see if I can. Fifty. Yeah, okay, I'm going to keep an eye on it because this move is getting seemingly a little ridiculous here. Wow. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and pause. So yeah, starting off the day now, up 100 bucks. Quick update on Tesla, unbelievable. Just continues to grind higher and higher. I'm still watching it, but I mean, there's just nothing, I, I suppose in hindsight, I should have just bought, huh? Are, are you rich in your hindsight trading account? I am. I mean, I'm like the richest person on the planet in my hindsight trading account. Yeah, I, I definitely, I'm, I'm with you. Clay, why didn't you just buy? I agree, why didn't I just buy? Yeah, unbelievable. All right, well, this thing just continues to, to grind higher and higher. 276.50. Yeah, I wanna try to catch the top here or look for some sort of, because this movement is crazy but it just, look at that thing. All right, well, I'll keep watching. All right, I'm watching 277.50 now here. Potential short. Wondering if this is gonna be, watching closely. 277.50 and 277.50. Let's see if this is some sort of move here. Maybe not, this is very strong, but I've been watching it, stalking it, looking for signs of weakness. Two seventy-seven, that's the break I want and need. Great formation here. Love the formation. It's just a question now of is it gonna work out?
Is 277 going to break or is it going to hold? There is the break. And not much follow through with it. How did I not get filled there? Come back down. Well, what in the world? I don't know how I did not get filled down around that area, but All right, there we go. Took off half. All right, gonna hop out there. Might still come down, but eh, I don't know. Level two is kind of spooking me there. And level two's already helped me out a whole lot the first time. So if they lead me a little bit astray here, so be it. Because overall, it's a net positive that the level twos have helped. So yeah, right there, that's all right. So now up 346, we're 15 minutes in. Let's see what else I can find. Little update there, overall, did I time it at the bottom, perfect trade? No, uh, but overall, the level twos once again lead me uh, to make a right, yeah, absolutely they did, look at that. Tesla, up it goes. And I was wondering, should I take it long? And uh, I, I decided against it just because I didn't quite trust it. Uh, so I, I got that wrong. I, uh, I, I trusted it uh, to not be strong and, and it was strong. Uh, but I didn't even get the, the softer rolling just because I wasn't, I wasn't really even that close to thinking that it was gonna be strong, uh, which I suppose just illustrates how wrong I got that one. But um, overall, yeah, level two is definitely a tool that uh, need to be used. Now, are they perfect? No, and you just saw that, right? Because the second one, it yeah, it led me astray a little bit. And I could have picked up some more, but uh, level two is which again is is that item over there is a tool that definitely needs to be learned in combination with technical trading, which is you know your candlesticks and all that good stuff. But um, okay, so still looking around here, markets sorta of all over the place to an extent, I suppose. As I look over in my other charts, maybe not all over the place, but uh, some very big moves here in Tesla. Gap down, up, came, acted like it wanted to maybe be weak, which is where my first trade was, up here, came back down, acted like it wanted to be weak, and it was weak temporarily, and then just continued on with the trend. But uh, let's see what else I can find. I have an order at 280, trying to get filled here on a Tesla back test, short. Let's actually do this instead now. Still would not have been filled because it never hit it. Yeah, hit it high of 279.99. Let's see if this thing wants to come up a bit and then come back down. There we go. So we'd like to see it get up over these highs and then come back down to 280. And I would get short. So that's the current game plan. If you think that I'm being a little high maintenance, a little picky, you would be accurate. But as I always say, when you're up in the green, that's a good thing. Be picky, be high maintenance, because what's the worst case? The worst case is, well, you don't get filled. Okay, so, but I'm still green, 300 bucks or whatever right now. So if you, know, if you don't get filled because you're too picky, that's not a bad situation because you're still up. So yes, you are 100% accurate to say, Clay, why are you being so high maintenance? Why are you being so picky? That is why. So come on up, come on. oh, getting close. Like I said, I just wanna see a... All right, I will pause. Okay, well, my setup has been ruined because uh, not only did it come up and break through there, it never came down. In fact, it just formed a big solid green candle. So maybe a, a new setup can take place, but the one I was watching is officially no longer in play. And that's all right, and that's, in fact, 
me having me being high maintenance like that, you know, it set me up for just to make sure I didn't throw myself in a trade that I shouldn't have been in. So, um, okay, I will pause. All right, watching 281, potential short here. See if this is some sort of fake breakout. In 281. But to be fair, maybe this is the start of a much bigger breakout, so. All right, I will go ahead. Well, no, I'll go ahead and pause. Okay, in at 281. Let's see if we can get some follow through here to the downside. This is mainly based on the five minute time frame. We're watching the one minute. So let's see if we can get some more push to the downside. Just a waiting game. See what it wants to do. All right, out. That was a move I wanted, gave it one more try. It happened, did not work out, and it is what it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and call it good. Um, so $362 um, with commissions, we'll call it 350. And not a day where, I, now I thought I was gonna have a bunch of setups because the markets did gap down, but everything just came ripping back upwards. So it put me in an environment where not not my ideal situation and um, it is what it is. So I'll, I'll take it and I was at it for about 30 minutes. If I can make a hundred bucks every, every 10 minutes, I'll, I'll take that all day long. So I mean, hundred bucks every 10 minutes for, I mean a little bit more since I was up 350, but you get the idea. And uh, I am more than happy with that given uh, the, the market circumstances here uh, today. So I will take it. If you enjoy these live trade videos, do a couple things for me. Hit that like button, leave a simple comment down below. Everybody, thanks for watching, take care. Ha eh. I'm kind of stalling a little bit because I want to see what ultimately happens with this one. But yeah, at this point, I definitely have to be out because this thing is just uh, not breaking down. So yes, I am stalling, but I guess you can always go back and look and see what happened here too. But everybody, thanks for watching. Take care again. If you'll enjoy these, hit that like button, leave a simple comment down below. And uh, thanks for hanging out. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. 
click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.